So today I'm gonna go to Pavilions and um, I'm gonna get some food because you know <sighs> I'm here all by myself and you know what? We're just gonna get this party started. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Denise will be back tomorrow, so hopefully we're able to do something. I still need to go Christmas shopping, so we'll, we'll see if that ends up happening. So, and just peep my skin, like that facial yesterday. It's good. <laughs> my keys um I might not be going out to eat I might not be going out to eat anyway so I don't know what to do so I am off um I'll check in with you guys later I started getting a headache when I was shopping and I had to carry the bag like not by the handles but by the whole body because it's a paper bag and you know how sometimes they can like snap and my arms are so weak like I need to hit the gym. So um, a quick uh, haul of food. I got Blue Chicka Pop, hands down my favorite popcorn. Uh, I only get in sea salt popcorn because I don't really like sweet. I don't like crazy flavors. I, I play classic like that. I also got uh, tortellini, tortellini, give me the formulini. Um, the mixed cheese one. I like three cheese or mixed cheese, either one's fine. I got another chip, Lay's lemon, from Um I got some <laughs> cranberry juice. Um, Fun fact, I were used to my favorite juice. Um, I got some maraschino cherries. I love maraschino cherries. I tried to get them through like the school year, but Ralph's didn't have any. I don't know if it was that Ralph's particular, but I was hella sad for a long time. And then I was waiting in line and I never shop hungry because I got Twix and I know, I love Twix, but it was not a smart buy. And that's all I got. Okay guys, today I sort of want to do a story time, like a little tea time, um, it's not tea, it's cranberry juice, um, and I've been wanting to do this for a minute, so <laughs> today I'm going to be telling you the story of how I walked out of my final, my last final, um, and how I overheard someone talking about plagiarizing. So, one, I'm always gonna leave names out. Um, and two, this is totally for entertainment. I don't, I don't wanna expose someone. So, I was studying the library upstairs for my final. I was unprepared and I was like, you know what, whatever. And so before we headed down the stairs to the classroom, I went to go use the bathroom. And then I come back out and my friend said, okay, let's walk down so we can go. So we went and um, I sit down. And I'm like, okay, whatever happens, happens. I know what I know, let's do this. And so <laughs> 30 minutes in, I needed a piece so badly. And I asked the teacher, I'm like, hey, can I use the bathroom? And he said no. Now, let me remind you guys, all my other classes have no problem with letting me use the bathroom. So I was a little like, hmm, 
like why and he was she said oh it's because other classmates are gonna get mad like i could literally ask every single person in that classroom they would have had no problem like somebody could have went with me and saw that i didn't do anything so i was like whatever i'll do what i can mind you i didn't even get halfway through my test and i was like you know what i'm done i need to be so i literally just walked out i left my stuff in the back the classroom so i came back in to get my stuff and to get um my essay that he said he was interning at the end of the final like what besides the point so he said oh you can come in later to discuss your essay and i got an okay grade i got a b minus i was like whatever mind you that i spent like <laughs> i did that in one night pulled an all-nighter went to sleep turned it in i was like whatever whatever happens happens and um i see another classmate there too and he was like he wasn't upset but he was sort of standoffish i guess he was like i can't believe he wants to see me he was there before me and so once the teacher came out and said oh who, who do i see next and i said him because he was here before me and let me tell you guys that was the best decision because the argument those two had in there was pretty caliente so i overhear and i'm not a nosy person i was just sitting there waiting for my turn he left the door open so i could hear everything they were saying and so i didn't start picking up until i said okay i definitely know that you did not write this test i'm like how did he know it because it wasn't turned in electronically it was turned in like hand in so you'd have to like actually type up the things and see uh, if it um matched with someone else and let me tell you guys he the student said that a friend from ucla gave him that paper and i was like no and like plagiarism at pepperdine is a very touchy subject because even if you play if you use your own words from like a previous paper it's considered plagiarizing which i find ridiculous because it is your own work but i i mean i guess like there shouldn't be a gray area with that but whatever so and they're just going back and forth like i know you didn't write it like i have to report this uh, you're gonna get a zero um i'll see what i can do i have to talk to my division um head division guy and I was like, okay, talk to him. Like you, like it was the last, it was the final. Like we weren't gonna go to class. So him bringing it to his attention at the last moment was sort of ridiculous because we had like two more weeks of classes after we turned it in. Like he could have emailed him, he couldn't. It was just, it was just a random time. And so I was just listening and he was like, yeah, I can talk to my divisional dean and see what we could do about it. Which I completely call him out on his BS because I know he wasn't going to try to do something extra for a student on like the last day. He was just trying to put up a front. Like after um, I heard all that drama, I was like, uh, he walked, I walked in and said, um, oh, I'm very sorry about the final thing. I'm like, I mean, and I was telling him, whatever, dude, it's fine. I don't care what you, what I wrote is what I wrote and go ahead. And he was all, I just want to make sure that I can do something for you. And I'm like, I, one, I don't care. And two, I completely disagree that he was going to try to do something. Because after I had to email him, be like, so am I going to take the final again or not? And then he emailed me back, yeah, looking at the options, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm like, can you at least tell me what the options were? When were you going to tell me this? By the time that the grades were in on Monday? Like, bull. That was just bull. Like, he completely lied. I know he lied. He was not trying to... He was not going to let me take that final again. But it's whatever. I ended up passing the class, which is what I wanted to do anyway. It was one of the hardest classes I've taken. But I just found the whole situation, like, very surreal. Like, <laughs> am I really listening to them argue back and forth of, about him plagiarizing? Like, it was just very crazy. So I guess that's going to be it for today's vlog. It was a very short story time, but if you want more, comment down below because I have a lot. Like, some girl once threw up on me. Um, I almost got eaten by coyotes. Um, yeah, just comment them down below, and I'll see you guys next time.